Hi, this is Emma Brook from emmabrook.net and I did not know what I was going to talk to you about until about five seconds ago. I turned on my computer to record this video and I asked what am I going to share with you guys today and I have um, been through a couple of bereavements in the last year and I felt that it was important for me to share a little bit about understanding bereavement so that if you have gone through a loss that you understand that everything that you're feeling is probably very normal. Just to give you a bit of background in case you don't know, I'm a trained counsellor, psychotherapist in the UK and as part of my training I spent a year in a clinical placement um, at the bereavement service run out of the Royal London Hospital. So I've counselled a lot of bereavement clients and I wanted to share a little bit about my own experiences as well because I for quite a long time felt quite abnormal because the way that I grieved didn't match the way that the people around me grieved. The way that I grieved didn't match the way my clients grieved, uh, uh, grieved at the bereavement service and I thought I was weird. I thought maybe there was something wrong with me. I took it to my own counsellor and I was like, maybe I'm missing something, maybe I'm not feeling something that I should be feeling as a counsellor. Maybe I need to be more in touch with my feeling, I'm worried. And what I've come to realise is that we all grieve in our own way. It is incredibly unique, it is incredibly personal, and it's okay. In counselling theory, we say that grief is normal up to a period of about two years. And if it's any longer than that, sometimes it can maybe need a little bit of help to get shifted. And when I say two years, I don't mean after two years you should be fine and like have forgotten the person you lost. Or thing, you know, we, we talk about grief and we eat, automatically think of death, but very often it's loss. Perhaps you're made redundant, perhaps your marriage failed or your relationship ended. Um, perhaps it was a pet you lost, perhaps a best friend moved away. We can lose many things in our lives and the grieving process is similar. So after that time, we think we should be okay to have a daily life, to be able to find joy in daily life again and to do normal things like going grocery shopping. And most people are quite surprised by that because quite often after a couple of months of being bereaved, everybody else around you forgets that you've been bereaved. And it's not because they don't care, it's because for them that process is finished. They felt bad for you, they felt sorry, they cared for you. And you're not bursting into tears every five minutes now in front of them, so it's kind of dropped to the back of their awareness. And that can be the hardest time because quite often the couple of months after you've lost someone or something, you're on kind of autopilot mode and you're doing the details. You're getting the admin done, you're getting the paperwork done, you're organising stuff, you're getting on with life. And you're almost in a state of shock, perhaps a state of denial. And it's when those support members kind of fall away from your life and, and don't think you need their support anymore that everything hits you sometimes and this is a really generalized kind of map of process here so it can go so many different ways as I said at the beginning it's very unique but I've worked with quite a few people for whom that's true for you know a couple of months in everybody else thinks they're back to normal and then all of a sudden it kind of hits them what has happened in the magnitude of their loss and they feel overwhelmed and they feel like they should be okay by now because it's three, four, five, six months down the line. And I just wanted to let you know that it's okay to not be okay three, four, six months, years down the line, okay? It's okay. We're allowed to miss someone. We're allowed to feel lost. We're allowed to feel alone. 
we're allowed to feel scared and we're allowed to feel sad. And it's only by really acknowledging those feelings that we can move through them. Very often as well, people or situations change and we lose people, situations, things. And there's some unresolved stuff there and there might be some anger there. There might be something that we were holding back and we now don't have the chance to say. There might be something that we didn't realise we were holding back until they were gone and we lost our chance to say it. And it's really important as well to express that. Sometimes when people get stuck and they feel like they can't move on, it's because they haven't had this opportunity to sort of do the unfinished business. So if you're suffering with grief, first of all, know that you're not alone. First of all, know that everybody suffers grief at some point. Everybody has suffered a loss. Everybody is hurt. Secondly, know that everybody experiences it uniquely. So if you're experiencing it differently to how your best friend is trying to sympathise with you saying, oh yes, I know when I lost my X, Y, Z, that I felt this, that and the other and you're sat there thinking, I don't feel like that. I don't feel like that. Is there something wrong with me? No. Everyone experiences things differently and that's okay. Just talk about it. Find somebody who you can talk to about it. You know, in the UK, there are lots of helplines, there are lots of bereavement charities. Cruise is a really big one. Mind can put you in touch with bereavement counsellors as well. Uh, if you're in other countries, check out what charities are around, check out what helplines are around. If you've got private healthcare, they'll normally have an EAP scheme. Sorry, if you've got private healthcare, they'll normally have some sort of mental health helpline that you can call. If you're in a big company, check out if your company has employee assistance programs in place. They'll often have helplines as well. Um, don't do this alone. You know, we can, we can suffer a lot, but we can make it a lot easier on ourselves and help move past things just by talking about it. And I know that sounds so cliched, but my experience and the experience of all the people who've had counselling in the past, all the people who've been counsellors in the past can testify to this. It really does help. Um, my own experience is very spiritually based, so I believe that the soul hasn't died but just moved on. And that makes it quite difficult for me to share in the experiences of my, my loved ones when I lose someone I care about. And that makes it hard for me because I grieve in my own way and I can't share with the grief of others because it's unique to me. So I hope that that gives you a little bit of perhaps reassurance, I don't know if that's the right word, but you're not alone in this and you're probably completely normal. But please, if you're struggling, just reach out. You can also email me, emma at emmabrook.net, E-M-M-A-B-R-O-O-K-E dot net. And I will put you in touch with someone who can help. I am also a counsellor and a coach, so you can work with me as well if you feel called to. Um, but yeah, please comment, send me an email. I'd love to hear from you and I hope this serves you. Bye for now.